We're very proud to be presenting a very complex and uh, what we believe very heartfelt and important program here in Melbourne. It features works originally made on the streets. Painting, sculpture, objects, works on paper, photographs and pieces from their very early exhibitions. The exhibition also showcases artwork made by both artists together in a collaboration with other notable artists. As both friends and collaborators, they shared many common threads in their lives. By showcasing the work of these artists in dialogue with one another, we're able to have a much greater appreciation of the profound influence that both artists continue to have on contemporary art and popular culture more broadly. Born in 1960, Jean-Michel Basquiat took inspiration from the volatile codes of New York City streets, a place where universal symbols of humanity flourished. These urban environments provided the catalyst for Basquiat to infuse his work with bold statements on politics, race, social, social justice and consumerism. Interestingly, Busquets' work has never been seen in Australia before. Everyone who's witnessed it since it's been installed has talked about the incredible emotional energy of his mark making. It's truly affecting work. Born in 1958, Keith Haring strove for the democratisation of art. Creating public murals, subway and street drawings, Haring focused on making art that was accessible to everyone. His work commented widely on a range of social issues as well, including the environment, the AIDS epidemic, paediatric health, and the push to end apartheid in South Africa and racism more generally. Among the many works brought together in a dialogue that explores a shared interest in language, politics and society, the exhibition includes one that Harry made as a very heartfelt uh, tribute to his late friend in 1988. Titled A Pile of Crowns for Jean-Michel Basquiat, it features a collection of Busquets' unmistakable crowns, combined with Haring's expert use of line and symbolism. It's an incredible tribute to an extraordinary artistic friendship. It's also fitting that this exhibition offers us a unique link to our own Victorian history. This includes a door that was incorporated into the design of Haring's 1984 mural, painted at the former Collingwood Technical School. In 1990, this door went missing for more than 10 years before it was mysteriously returned to Creative Victoria. The door, though, is now in very safe hands at the NTV and remains a great connection to Keith Haring's Collingwood mural, which is beloved by so many people. You would have noticed at the NTV's main entrance a scene-stilling artwork displayed on our water wall. Running alongside this exhibition, this large-scale artwork is a reimagining of a temporary mural that Keith painted on this location 35 years ago. We're so pleased to be able to mark this key moment, which we couldn't have done without the great support of the uh, Haring Estate. We know that Keith's visit to Melbourne had a huge impact here. Uh, and there's a generation of young artists uh, who still talk about what it would have meant to them to have seen him here. He was pushing many boundaries at the time, alongside issues around street art, but also around the gay community, and it's great to be able to pay tribute to him again. These two artists are uh, uh, two of the most powerful artists of our all times. Today, they are more important than ever. The young and the youngest connect to them like never before, because they talk about our time. Keith Haring is the influencer of our emoji culture, while Basquiat is the influencer of our way to communicate today, the copy paste society. What accounts for their art being so durable, given that they both died very, very young? It is a very good question because those were just two very young geniuses who died all too early and who sensed the time to come. And the work they executed is so unique that nobody else did before and so influential on the next generation to come. Now I have to ask you, Dieter, about the irony, I guess, of a major exhibition of two street artists who prided the fact that their work was available to everybody on the street and here it is in the, the comforting air-conditioned enclosure of an art gallery. Is there a contradiction there or is it a logical extension 
of what they uh, wanted both, their work to be. Both artists were, were not street artists. Both artists work in public space, but their main domain was actually the artistic work presented in galleries and museums. So Keith Haring did this huge project, one of the most powerful in France of art, the subway drawings. Well, Basque started with the poetic graffiti in the outside, but it was much more a conceptual art project. So they are where they belong. <laughs> Do you think that Keith Haring had a greater appeal to younger people, while Basque was much more adult? I would say that Keith Haring had the widest range of uh, giving to the community, from kids to all people. Basque at the time in the 80s was certainly much closer to uh, street artists, graffiti artists, and the whole art scene. Today, the very young are totally into both of them. Why should people come to art galleries? What is there in art galleries that, that, that people art will discover? Art is part of our life. Art is part of our human DNA. Art is even a survival mode, as we have seen in history. Well, we think it, it's a unique pairing of the two artists, from Michelle Basket and Keith Hanging, never been shown before. But they've also got very important messages around community and society, but they're also great influential painters in their own right. So they're great visionaries for their time and they still are today. We've had a lot of major shows in the last few years and we see this as significant as anything else we've done recently. Why should people visit art galleries? Art galleries are about elevating the mind, thinking about other people who are doing things that are progressive, talking about where the world's going today. And these artists are no exception, so I encourage people to come and you know open their, open their ideas and enjoy the world of other people.